Hello everyone, it's great to be back at SDC. The times have changed a lot since the last SDC in 2019. It has given us new challenges and insight into how technology can be used to make our everyday life just a little bit easier. We are more connected than ever before with people and devices, yet at the same time, we are often physically isolated and on our own. Managing all the connections through apps, features, and services on your devices is not getting any easier. This is where Bixby, the voice assistant that is available in many of your devices, whether it be Galaxy smartphone or smart TV or Family Hub refrigerator, plays an important role. I'm super excited to talk to you about some of the things we've been working on to make Bixby better than ever before at helping you navigate this complex world we're all living in. When we launched Bixby in the summer of 2017, we focused on being the best voice interface to many apps on the smartphone, starting with the Galaxy S8. In 2019, we enabled the third-party ecosystem of capsules so that developers could use the same tools we did to add your services to Bixby. Following the launch of Bixby first in US, Korea, and China, we have expanded to Europe and most recently, Brazil and India. Bixby can now be found on over 300 million devices, from your Galaxy smartphone and tab to the Galaxy Watch, Samsung smart TVs, family hub refrigerators, smart air conditioners, and even robot vacuum cleaners. Galaxy Book series of notebooks have just joined this list. You can now find Bixby in the Microsoft App Store on your 2021 Galaxy Book notebooks. Bixby also supports SmartThings, Samsung's IoT platform. Through SmartThings, you can control millions of more things with Bixby. Soon, SmartThings will support the Matter standard to make interoperability even easier. Now, let me show you how Bixby works better for you, starting from the smartphone, than as a centerpiece of the smart home experience. Bixby on the smartphone is now faster than ever before. On our latest Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3, Bixby is up to 35% faster as most of the user's speech can be handled on the device itself. So Bixby is faster while sending less of your information to the cloud. What time is it? Turn on flashlight. Turn off flashlight. Remind me to send a message to Danny tomorrow. Our recognition engines have improved significantly with new end-to-end -end ASR and deep learn natural language models providing more accurate understanding. The user experience has become much lighter and quick as well, executing the commands without covering up the whole screen. It now gets the job done and quickly moves out of the way. Let's move over to the living room. We have made many improvements to Bixby on the TV so that you can do more through voice and reach for the remote control less. It is much easier to search and navigate through content and select the program you want. Show me action titles. Go to next. Previous page. Select Jack Ryan. The TV is often located at the center of your living space. So even when the screen is turned off, you can wake up, Bixby. Hi, Bixby. Start the robot cleaner. All right, robot cleaner is cleaning. Starting to clean everywhere, including no-go zones. Some models even support SmartThings Hub capability, so you can connect and control many IoT things directly without a separate hub. With Bixby on the smartphone, smart TV, and other Bixby-enabled devices, you can enjoy many cross-device experiences as well as control SmartThings devices. Let's take a look at what some of this looks like. Where are my Galaxy Buds?
play Galaxy Unpack 2021 on YouTube. Play this video on TV. It couldn't be easier. In order to provide the best cross-device experience all through voice, we had to take a long, hard look at our earlier attempts at conversational UX, and we redefined how Bixby talks to you. I'll let Richard, one of our lead designers in Mountain View, talk more on the UX. Thanks, Danny. Speaking is the simplest, most natural way for us to interact with each other. It's how we build relationships, navigate our world, and turn wild ideas into reality. This is why voice interfaces on all of our devices is truly the future. And conversations with people and technology should be pretty enjoyable. So we're trying to make that happen. At Bixby, we're using a radically simple approach to evolve our interaction platform using these four principles. One, speak naturally. Two, be there when you need it. Three, be really helpful. And four, act quickly. Life's complex. Talking to technology shouldn't be. So, how are we making this a reality? We've put voice first, prioritizing and simplifying the voice interaction while letting our beautiful screens enhance the experience. We've built new interaction patterns that are being used on all of our devices and soon all of your capsules. This is removing things like long, boring lists, something that nobody enjoys. We wanna, again, we wanna make using technology enjoyable. Now we predict what the user wants from past behavior and help the user tell Bixby what they want, but support them if they don't know. We have now wakeless interactions, so you don't have to say Bixby's name over and over again. After all, nobody enjoys long-winded, repetitive conversations. We've focused on making Bixby shine when you need it most, when you're on the go and in your home, making sure you're at the center of everything with Bixby and every Samsung device is there whenever you want to talk. In the home, we don't see our devices as having Bixby in them. We see your entire home being Bixby enabled. Bixby is the connective tissue and your voice is in charge. Every situation is a little different. So Bixby now adapts to the user's context, leveraging each device's strengths. How information is given through buds while you're running is tailored for that situation, just as it is when you're sitting on your sofa talking to your TV. It's perfect for that. Let's be honest, we've all had the experience of getting frustrated with technology. So now Bixby understands that things might not always go smoothly. So we've created progressive assistance. It's a way to nudge you along the right path, simplifying your decision-making and creating a frictionless experience. For example, if you forget what somebody named a lamp in your house when you're about to go to bed and you want to turn it off, Bixby won't throw an error. It'll guide you to exactly the right name of that lamp. So now Bixby is super fast when you know what you want and super helpful when you need it. We also hope you're enjoying our new flexible UX. This has allowed Bixby to coexist with whatever you're doing on your phone, sitting on a layer over your existing apps without disrupting your flow. Just as important as getting information you need is getting out of the way. And Bixby does that too with our new flexible UX. Our design and engineering teams are busy crafting every millisecond and every moment so you get what you need without any pixel or line of code getting in the way. Especially where time matters most, your Samsung watch. Say your query and boom, Bixby answers you right away. No more waiting through various dialogues and scrolling through extra screens to get to the answer you need. We're excited for you to try these speed improvements on every device, but especially on the watch. So what's next for Bixby? Well, that's simple too. Voice will be the interface for your home, and Bixby will be the connective thread between all of your devices. Stay tuned for some innovative devices and experiences that will be coming to a kitchen, living room, and home office near you. Thank you very much. Back to you, Danny. Thank you, Richard. In order to achieve this vision, we put in tremendous effort to integrate Bixby with SmartThings. All Samsung devices with Bixby support SmartThings, so you can use voice to control not only other devices with Bixby, but all the things connected through SmartThings. In addition to SmartThings, we created a new architecture we are calling the Bixby Home Platform. Through Bixby Home Platform, it becomes much easier 
for each voice command to be carried out in a more intelligent way. Current voice assistants are already good at carrying out simple commands, but people are now expecting more than just turning something on and off. We want to take it to the next level, and with Bixby Home Platform, a simple command can trigger a set of logic to take place, taking into account various states of different devices. As an example, if the user says, clean the living room, Bixby Home Platform will be able to turn on the vacuum cleaner, have it move to the specified location, turn off the nearby TV if on, and then start the cleaning. Samsung's smart appliances will get smarter through Bixby Home Platform first, but we will be opening up these tools to developers so you will be able to add such intelligence to your devices as well. For the developers who want to take a deeper dive into how to enable intelligence to devices through Bixby, we have Bixby Tech Talk coming up later today. We have also made many improvements to our capsule development tools, which we are excited to share with you. We work tirelessly to craft the user experience and develop the technology to make Bixby the best voice interface between users and ecosystem of more and more smart devices. Please join us in exploring this new space and stay tuned for more exciting news from Bixby. Thank you.